Welcome everybody to another YouTube exclusive Voice of Nick episode. We're playing more Abyss Odyssey and uh, we're, we're back here, back in the Abyss. We have some items, we have our hunting sword and we're gonna go hunting, that's for sure. We're trying to make our way to the warlock, trying to uh, capture him and we will see how that goes. Thing changed directions on me. Knowledge comes. Oh. Uh. Oh. The problem with that spin move is that it doesn't actually have very much range on it. That's such a good combo. Man, this guy's good. When you can really take advantage of his, you know, abilities, this guy is really good. As evidenced by the fact that he really messes us up when he wants to. And he usually wants to. Okay, so there is a mid boss below us. We're gonna try and get some health. For Catrian, we're gonna try and uh, capture the mid boss, which means we need to build up her mana meter, but not against this guy. good stuff okay what is our current yes okay it's exactly what we want good so now we have this ice ring or ice sword back 21 damage level 3 and we have the uh, the ring that does the most buff to that sword so that it not only doubles the initial damage, but also increases the uh, specific elemental effects. Yeah, that's a crazy powerful ring. God, if only I could stop getting hit by the fish. So we are building her meter here. So we got her meter, now let's get off of her. And we'll just use her only to capture the mid boss. We don't have any health potions. Oh no. Yes, 
no health potions here. Alright, so... It's gonna be a tough battle, but if we kinda like use our... Summon to take the brunt of the damage during the fight, we should be okay. Oh my god, how many hits even was that combo? This is insane how comboable this guy is. I can't believe how fluid his attacks are. kind of our ticket. Oh, there we go. We need that. Give her the health potion. It looks like we're going up against what? Okay, this guy is uh, sometimes a real tough customer, and sometimes he's got nothing. So we just gotta hope, <laughs> hope for the best. Hope he's got nothing. Just hope he's a regular customer. We don't want to let him do that thing where he makes a uh, bubble around himself. So we'll just kind of keep putting pressure on him. That's what we don't want, yeah. We've never used him as a summon though, so this will be interesting to try. Now we don't want to kill him with with our guy here. All we gotta do is get him with the uh, thing. There it is. This, did that say he was level infinite? Can I not? Oh my god, he's under the ground. So we did not get him as a summon, we wasted it. And through no fault of our own. I don't think there's any possibility that he was infinite level. I think that I saw the summon thing, but it just disappeared because it was outside the level. That's alright, we'll try and get a better... We do need to get some kind of better summon because our guy is almost dead now. Damn, we were kind of banking on that, but we should be okay. I'm glad you found the shopkeeper. I managed. Mmm, thank you. Okay, now we're in a bit of trouble here. If we die, we have the possibility of keeping our sword and a few of our items, but not all of them. And I would really like to just keep all of our items. But of course I would like that. Let's see if we can make something happen here. There it is. That's free mana meter for you. Let's see if the shopkeeper has anything. Nope. 
Man, okay. Minus burn damage is really good. We don't want to get rid of that. We can buy a summon. I guess we'll do that. It's not really a summon that we really want, but it's better than dying as Catrian and screwing it all up. We still have a lot of money. Not enough to buy whatever we want, but enough to buy most things we might want. Okay, so we do have iframes during that dodge. Oh, look at the way the calf, the calf is holding the key on its, uh, on its horn. That's really good. Ah. Okay, so the amount of levels to go from here to there, um, maybe like six. We have a couple of moderate ones, which is nice. There's no easy ones, but I don't think there ever are on the right side. Gold boost, we don't really care about that. Our current ring is burn damage, which is way better. Burn damage, again, is the thing that the warlock does. So we want to obviously try and get rid of his advantage. If we could get a burn resistance, that would be huge. Possibly like complete battle winning type thing, but burn 60% burn uh, re resist is also really good. Or burn immunity is what I meant to say. If we could get burn immunity, that would be like obviously the best thing to get. Ah. Damn, it's hard to maneuver in this area. This is the problem. Now we know the plight of the golden calf, which we always end up kind of like, you know, taking advantage of. The fact that he's so big, which makes him like really easy to hit. But hey, we're doing okay. All right, this is gonna send us, I think, to. Uh... Oh wait, I can use this ice thing. Okay, it doesn't. Immune to curses is great, but I wish it was immune to other stuff. There we go, thank you, game. Let's just eat that now. We're really just fighting against the uh, against the tide with Catrian. We can't get her to have like a stable amount of health. Oh, that's a good move. I really never use this guy, the uh, Voladora. Yeah, that backflip thing. Oh, that, well, how did I even, okay, that was good. The Voladora is not bad. I don't think it would be really our best bet against the Warlock, but against other enemies, it really has some good uh, moveset. I just love that. They have to be pretty close to you for it to work, but still. The trickiness of it, you know, coming up from the ground. Oh, and it looks like it can combo into some stuff, too. Yeah. Ah. Man, we're really just getting, getting wrecked here at the end. There we go. <clears throat> um, yeah, we don't want the Volador. Golden Cap is going to be... At least the Golden Cap will be able to kind of run through a lot of damage. As long as they don't grab. Grabbing is what screws the Golden Cap over. Wow, look at that! Catrian has full health! Is that what you get? Are we learning... It's so crazy that we keep learning the mechanics, even like a zillion episodes into this game as we are, we're still learning the mechanics. 
Um, but by doing those levels in the nightmare, is that healing? Do you, if you win, does that fully heal your character? If so, that is huge. That's a major thing that I just never even thought about. And it makes a lot more sense why it would be worth doing the nightmares then. Depending on, you know, how you're doing, I guess, in the game. Oh crap, I'm about to get hit by that. Ah! Why did I do that? Yeah, the calf has full health too. Yeah, the calf is able to just go straight through damage, which is great. Oops. Ah. Okay, good, 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 good. Thought I was jumping right into a black hole there. Okay, we have a full mana meter. We have re newly filled health bar. Full golden calf. I think we're in a really good spot. I think we're in a very good spot, ladies and gents. That's gonna do it for this Abyss Odyssey episode. So thank you for joining. If you wanna see these come out, they happen every Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, and Sunday, four times a week right on this YouTube channel. So hit that subscribe button to see more. I will see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.